Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik, the President and CEO of Your Mississauga Board of Trade. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. The first Good Evening Mississauga, or GEM as it's called, took place at the new Stir Kitchen and Beverage Company. Well, uh, we've had that as our seventh restaurant in Mississauga. And uh, Stir is almost uh, a concept where it's a little bit of, of all our other restaurants combined. Where we saw in West 50, and uh, we had 115 draft taps. Today we have a lot of microbrew draft taps in, at Stir. Um, down at 10 Restaurant, when we used to own that, we were very much a wine bar. So we took the element of the wine bar and brought it into Stir. Um, cocktails are a big thing right nowadays when we used to own on the curve. We brought that element of the cocktails into here. So again, Stir is almost a case where we stirred up the concept a little bit, and brought it in here at the one location, and it's central Mississauga, so we think it, it works out here. Over 120 MBOT members and guests gathered to enjoy great food, cocktails, and networking. MBOT plans to continue the GEM events on a quarterly basis and will increase the frequency of events at members' request. Dr. Harinder Alawalia made a presentation to the Policy Committee outlining how Canada must move from a resource-based economy to a knowledge-based economy. Dr. Alawalia stressed the importance of governments to fund programs to support more technology-based startup companies. The Policy Committee also did an initial review of the 36 resolutions to be discussed at the upcoming Ontario Chamber of Commerce Annual General Meeting. The Mississauga Board of Trade is a member of the Ontario Chamber of Commerce and uses this advocacy group to the benefit of member businesses in the city of Mississauga. This year's AGM is being held in Oakville from April 28th to May 1st. The China Bound Travel Group met for their final information session the group of 23 travelers will leave for the Far East trip on April 16th for nine days. Among other cities, the group will visit Beijing and Shanghai. City developer Iggy Kanif had his 90th birthday party last week. A packed room of well-wishers gathered at the Mississauga Convention Center to celebrate and raise money for Mississauga community living. On the dais to speak about the iconic Bulgarian-born Kanif, was Iggy's two daughters, Finance Minister Charles Souza, well-known Rogers TV man Jake Deere, Mayor Bonnie Crombie, and former Mayor Hazel McCallion. The recent Ontario budget talked about how the cap-and-trade legislation will impact business in Ontario. The legislation is designed to reduce carbon emissions in the province. Environment Minister Glenn Murray will address the Mississauga Board of Trade on Monday, April 18th regarding cap and trade, as well as climate change initiatives and how they will affect and impact Ontario business. The Mississauga Steelheads played the Barry Colts in Barry on Saturday, and as Barry took a 3-2 game lead in the best of seven series. We were on hand live at the game on Sunday to give you this update. The Steelheads jumped out to an early lead in the first period. They continued the pressure all the way through to the end of the game, eventually winning the game 7-0. He's been good in this game. Not much help on the back end, but he's been the number one all year. you got to give it to him if he's healthy. The series comes down to one game in Barry on Tuesday night. Here are some upcoming events at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On Wednesday, April 6th, Membership Matters continues with an orientation session for new members. Existing members are welcome to attend for a refresher on the benefits of membership at MBOT. On Wednesday, April 13th, Good Morning Mississauga, this month's breakfast networking event is at Markland Wood Golf Club. Markland is also the site for this year's MBOT Golf Day in June. And the next signature event on Thursday, April 14th, the 55th anniversary party of the year, the Masquerade Gala, honoring our three past chairs, Karen Ross, 
Paul Wolford, and Jeffrey Percival. Special guest of honor and recipient of this year's Mississauga Board of Trade Lifetime Business Achievement Award is Gil Moore, the founder and president of Metalworks. Special guest presenter of the Lifetime Award will be none other than Gil Moore's friend, Tom Cochran. Get your tickets now. This event is sure to sell out fast. You can find out details about these and other stories by visiting www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Wojcik, wishing you all the best success in your business. Thank you.